Once you've got the image where you want it, it's often necessary to crop for delivery. Maybe you intend to print at a specific size or you want to make delivery to social media. To do this, just click the Crop tool in the toolbar. Then, from the aspect ratio, you'll see a variety of sizes. You can crop with the original options here or transposed if you want to preserve the original aspect ratio of the camera. Additionally, you'll find several different presets. 16 by 10, for example, for most computer monitors. 16 by 9 for video. 8.5 by 11 for a sheet of paper or several common photographic sizes like 7x5 or 5x7, a 3x4. And this makes it very easy for you to adjust the overall shape. You see here that 3x4 or 4x3 was my original aspect ratio of the camera. Switching to a 5x7, it updates and needs to crop a little bit from the top and the bottom. Now, if you check the lock icon here, it'll switch from a locked ratio to a free ratio so you can dial in a custom crop as you see fit. You'll also find near the bottom some other options. One by one, which is useful for social media, or specific sizes here for Facebook covers or a Facebook post. And these are the actual sizes that you need if you want to deliver something to the social media timeline. And now it's proper aspect ratio for a post on Facebook. Feel free to choose the size or ratio that works best for you and adjust. You'll also notice the ability here to adjust angle. So if you feel like the image is crooked, you can further refine it during the cropping stage or add a creative angle. Just double click to reset. And while cropping, you also have the ability for further refinement. So if I was looking at the scene and I felt like it needed to be reversed, I can easily flop the scene from one side to the other. When you're ready, just click Done to apply the crop. 